What's up everybody? Just wanted to put a little intro into this video regarding the Vintage Collection PlayStation 2 S Games Pack. A um, couple things to note is it is large, so zipped up it's just under 400 gigabytes. And I do mention this in the video, but I just wanted to preemptively give you guys that heads up like, hey, it's 400 gigs and you've still got to extract it, which makes it just over 400 gigs. So you need just over 800 gigabytes of free space in order to uh, download this all and extract it and then add it in, which we're going to get into in the video. Um, so one thing that I, I just want to reiterate that I put into the videos of, of all of these packs and, uh, you know, I just, I just wanted to, I, I do say it in the video, but I wanted to do an intro on this. Please, if you are a torrent user, please, if you can let it ride after you're done downloading it and let, and just let it seed. And then that way others in the community could enjoy these packs. It would be greatly appreciated. I think one thing I've never explained in these videos is. I don't host them. I ha uh, Arcade Punks hosts them, but it's up to the community to keep the torrents active, keep them live, keep them healthy. Um, I once I'm done with a pack and I upload it to Arcade Punks, they post it out there for everybody. So my my hats off to Arcade Punks for doing that. But uh, it's up to the community as a whole to try and share with one another. So if you can seed, it's greatly appreciated. And uh, let's get right into this and check it out. Welcome to Harrison's Hat. Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. Today I'm releasing the Vintage Collection Sony PlayStation 2 S Games Pack. This pack is massive. It's probably the biggest games pack I've released to date. And believe me, it's huge. So let's go ahead and get this installed so we can enjoy these games because there's quite a few of them. The first thing we want to do is go to the link in the description. And it's going to take you to download a simple little text file, the Vintage Collection Sony PS2 S Games Pack link.txt. Uh, right now, obviously, you won't have this folder or the zip files. There are a lot of them. But what we want to do is download that text file, open it up, and you can see that there's a link inside. So you want to highlight the link just like so. Right click, copy. Go ahead and paste that into your web browser. And that'll take you to the Arcade Punks website. You can just scroll down till you see the Vintage Collection Sony PS2 pack. And there's usually two options. Uh, NZB file for Usenet users. As well as a torrent file for everybody else. Um, if you could please seed after downloading the torrent, I mean, it would be greatly appreciated, especially on a large pack like this. You know, if you've got unlimited data, please seed. Uh, it, it just it's so beneficial to everyone in the community without having a dead link. And you know, we all know how that feels. It really sucks when it's something you really want. So, you know, just be mindful of others. Also, while you're on the Arcade Punks website, go ahead and check out all the content they have. They've got you know, news, notes, there's histories of certain games for consoles and arcades. There's just a ton of different content for Raspberry Pi, PC. I mean, the list goes on. So make sure you check that out. A lot of talented creators post to arcade punks, and uh, I'm grateful to be a part of that community. Now, once you have everything downloaded, and it will take a while, uh, you're going to have a bunch of zip files. So I'm just going to go and show you how many we have. I'm going to keep scrolling. We're still going. All right. And still going. There we go. We have 580 zip files. Properties on that. Zipped up 396 gigabytes. No joke. This one is no joke. Um... The S pack is just massive. So that's how big it is when it's zipped. When we unzip it, you're looking at 404. So make sure you've got like a terabyte of space because you're going to have to download it and extract it, which equates to over 800, well, roughly 800 gigabytes. So 
just be prepared for that. Uh, just wanted to put that out there. Uh, but once you do have all the zip files downloaded, we will right click on 001. So you can see here of all the files, we have 001. We want to right click, 7-zip, extract here, and wait a while because it's going to take a bit. But once it's extracted, you will have the vintage collection folder. And we just take that and we cut or copy. I'm going to cut and we put that in the root of our H drive where we have vintage collection installed. So I'm going to go to my root of H. You can see vintage collection. I don't want to be in it. I actually want to be right in the root of H. Right click, paste. So it, it is going to take a bit. It's a lot of files. Um, and it's going to ask if we want to overwrite our Sony PlayStation 2.txt. Yes, we do. And that's because it's updating the ROM list for us. So there we go. So now we can go into Vintage Collection, Attract, and I'm going to launch it up and we can check out the games. Okay, so here we are in Vintage Collection. And we've got a ton of games in this pack, uh, as I mentioned earlier. Um, so I'm just going to scroll through the list and also discuss a few things um, regarding this pack, as well as upcoming video I have soon and an upcoming build that I'm working on. So basically, I'll just discuss those as we scroll here. So I do want to mention, as large as this pack is, I still did uh, end up doing all of the artwork. So I had to create some, I had to get some video snaps, I had to do, you know, quite a bit to this pack, only because there is so many games, uh, but it is, it is complete. So your disc art, your box art, your wheel art, and your video snap, it's all there for all of these games. Uh, I didn't want to leave anything out, so I went ahead and got everything rocking and rolling for this pack. Um, as far as upcoming videos, uh, I'm going to leave a link in the top right hand corner of your screen and that is to showcase my RetroArch internal mod on the PlayStation Classic. So basically I have RetroArch running internally from the PlayStation Classic and it's great. Um, I've made quite a bit of progress since my last update video on that so I'm going to be showcasing that soon. Better camera quality as well. I'm going to use my webcam because my phone just loves to autofocus and I just can't get it to stop. So uh, I'll try and do a better setup there. You know, I wish I had a capture card, but I don't. So I'll just uh, do it as best I can. But uh, definitely pretty cool. I've, like I said, I've, I've made a lot of progress and I've had a lot of help from the community. So really appreciative to everyone. And I will give some shout outs in that video to those folks. Um, another thing is I'm working on a build and it will be posted on my Patreon page um, coming very soon. Um, and that is the GameCube Classic Edition for PC. So stay tuned for that one. Uh, that'll be coming up in the near future. Um, Patreons get early access, of course, and it could very well become a public release. So. Stay tuned for that. Also, I just got over 6,000 subscribers, so thank you. Thank you so, so much. I really appreciate everyone who puts a thumbs up, some thumbs down, a comment. Uh, you know, you subscribe to the channel. I mean, I really appreciate all that. It keeps me going, and uh, I'm, I truly am grateful. So thank you again. And uh, there's going to be a few more builds coming out, but right now I'm kind of focusing on... Uh, the RetroArch internal mod for the PlayStation Classic. Um, I'm trying to put together a tutorial uh, for certain things regarding the PlayStation Classic, as well as the Sega Genesis Mini. Um, they're they've they've got it. They've got it hacked. So uh, the the mod my classic team is is hard at work, and uh, my hats off to them. It's not public yet, but once it is, uh, definitely we're going to dive in together and I will try and show you guys as much as I possibly can. And obviously, like I do with everything, just take it, hack it up and, you know, change it up a little bit. See if everybody likes the way that I do it and go from there. So I'll just do a quick scroll to end the video here because we still have a lot of games to go through and you can see how long I've been scrolling. Um, 
But there are a lot. And I mean, when we get to Star Wars, let's just count them, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven Star Wars games for the PS2. Like, come on now. Making enough money. Oh, by the way, Street Fighter Alpha Anthology is actually a really great game. I really like that one. Same with the Anniversary Collection. So make sure you check those out. I'm a huge Street Fighter fan, so... You know. We're almost ending. We're almost at the end here. And we have some siphon filters. Boom. Then we get into T. It's not ready yet. But S is complete. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. Please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Consider becoming a patron for as little as a dollar a month. Really helps my channel grow. But most importantly, have a good day.